I've seen a lot of people encounter this and no one has really come up with a good solution from what I've seen. Um, it probably exists out there, but I, I just know a lot of people have had trouble with this like I did. So when you're working in Blender and you load in something into Unreal, a lot of times, you know, you'll load it in, you can get the scaling issues sorted and all of that. But as some of you know, you go to create your physics and this happens. And what ends up occurring is you can't make this capsule small enough, you know, to, to work for his body shape. And at least in my case, if I tried to change the unit scale or the, the export scale or anything like that in Blender, it didn't seem to help with this issue. Um, so this solution basically allows you to get going with a working physics asset. I thought I'd share it um, just in case it helps you guys too. What you're going to do is right click on your skeletal mesh. You're going to create your physics asset and create and assign. Now your minimum bone size, you typically want that pretty low I find. Something like 0 .01 usually works well for me. If you use a larger number like one or five, it will start to ignore the smaller bones like fingers for instance, and will instead build collision for the entire hand. This is something you sort of have to dial in though. I have um, all this stuff checked. I just don't have create body for all bones and I let it walk past the small bones. Right, I use capsules, but you can use whatever you think might be best for your specific use. I think for humanoid kind of figures like this ape, the capsules tend to work pretty well. So we're gonna create that asset. And with that small bone size, this character has a whole facial bone structure. We're gonna take out collision for all that. So take out these ones. So basically from the brow all the way down through all the ears, the forehead, the jaws, all the lips, the eyelids, uh, the, don't need the nose, the teeth, the tongue. So we're going to do all of that and we're just going to delete all of those. Now we actually have something that looks pretty good. Now you can see like the pelvis here, this model I'm using has some extra bones. So we take those extra bones out. It's looking pretty good. Now like this one, I wish it was a little smaller. What happens is when you try to resize this, it jumps back up. So we're gonna click on it. We're gonna scroll over here under details down to primitives and open that up. This one has a capsule, so we're gonna open up capsules. We're gonna open up this index. And right here, there's a radius setting. And you can actually put in a smaller, like 0.1, and it's gonna get smaller, right? So you can adjust the length and the radius through these parameters here. So I don't know why it doesn't let you do it on the manual adjustment over here, but if you use these, it should work for you. So that should allow you to take something like this arm that is not really sitting too well. It's a little bit too big, right? You take the radius, move it down to something like 0.15. We're gonna adjust this over, right? And maybe make the length just a hair bigger, so like 0.35. Let's try 0.4, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Drag that up just a little bit. And it's looking much better now, right? So you can go through and adjust all of these get them to fit pretty exacting and then you know from there you're pretty much set up i'll show you one that i i finished of this character and you'll see it actually it works pretty well there we go see <clears throat> so it actually does a pretty good job of registering where my hands are and everything so i think it's gonna it's gonna be pretty pretty good overall that's just something I wanted to share with you guys because I struggled trying to figure that out. So hopefully it helps some of you guys as well. If you like this video, hit that sub button for more tips.